Hello, hello, Moon Scouts, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going on a special little adventure in search of Halloween merchandise. So I've been seeing online, on social media, a bunch of people posting that this this store, Old Time Pottery, and, and the store at home have already started putting out Halloween merchandise. Um, and I actually only just learned about Code Orange being a thing. So following that hashtag now. So anyways, we are going to be walking in here and seeing if in fact there is Halloween merchandise. We are starting out with old time pottery. And then after this, we're going to be good checking out uh, at home. So follow me. So it actually did not take me very long at all to find the Halloween merchandise. Pretty much uh, upon walking into the store, I went, the first cor corner I went around, I spotted it. It was right in front of where the registers are and pretty much only a couple of aisles over from the, from the front entrance. So you can see here, I'm kind of just going, giving a quick overview of the whole row there. Pretty much all the Halloween, the, the very, Halloween specific merchandise was in the basically lining one side that one side of the aisle and you'll see later in the video they also had some some more just fall harvest theme merchandise and I'll be showing that but as for the Halloween specific ones uh, I was pretty much just this one aisle so not a whole whole lot but it's out. It's coming out, guys. So I'll talk a little bit about uh, the merch that I'm picking up and showing you guys. So earlier you saw we had some really cute cat, cat decorations and sparkly, ooh, sparkly mummy and Frankenstein, all about that. M Personally, I was absolutely in love with these Halloween gnomes. I am a huge fan of the whole gnome trend. Um, I've been seeing that's been a popular thing in the past year or two. So I get excited about seeing any sort of gnome. The fact that this is a still a trend and especially that they are incorporating it with Halloween makes me very happy. And those are actually my favorite statues there. So here we have some cute little Day of the Dead guys I was picking up. And, oh, that witch statue was really cool. She has a little pumpkin by her side and she's holding a, I think it was an owl. Um, these were really cool. Oh, I really enjoyed these. And I'm just kind of showing you the bottom, how you can see there's actually a light inside um, that you can put on. I love that. Love that little crow there. Love those little pumpkin guys. Lots of pumpkins and crows you can see here. Uh, I'm also picking up some of the decorations so you can, guys can see what the pricing is like. I don't show the pricing for every single thing, uh, but just to kind of give you an idea. So pretty good, a pretty good pricing. Though I really, I thought those were super cute, the, the little Halloween houses. Um, I don't have, I really don't have one particular style of Halloween decorations. I like, I, I seriously legitimately love it all anything any theme so whenever i go check out halloween merch i have such a hard time deciding on something i want because i could i could take it all so these skulls were really cool i wanted to show you guys they have they are covered in little skulls and bones and skeletons to make up the skull i thought that was pretty cool so we got a skeleton fortune teller. This was cool. It's like a little diorama. I thought mm, things in jars. I'm all about that. <laughs> and we got these these big uh, these big like heads, and I think they were kind of hollow on the top. They're just a little bit hollow, so you couldn't really put a whole lot of candy into it. Just a just like a little bit or you know, a little bit of something on top. That was super cute. Love that. I'm here for the booze. That's always a classic. We got some, oh, that is always a fantastic combination. Skeleton with a pumpkin head. Yes. These were really cool. I had to make sure to turn it around to show you guys. There is actually a uh, recipe on on the, the spell book there. So I think that's pretty cool. That works as a decoration that looks great from the front or the back. Love the little skeletons in the bathtub. It's always fun seeing how they get creative with the Halloween designs. Um, that one was really, really adorable and wholesome. 
and yeah, I love seeing I love seeing both the vintage classic designs as well as the new creative ones. So moving along here, um, I wanted to show you all that there is actually a lot of autumn themed floral like fake flowers bouquets and wreaths out now i was actually so i never go really go into these stores any other time of year except for like to look at seasonal um halloween fall and christmas decorations so i actually don't know if this is something that they have up the rest of the year i tend to think not um just because of if you could see when i first was walking over there it was very empty um so it looked like they were starting to put the stock in there of the of the autumn merch and i really wanted to show you all these wreaths here they're really beautiful i i love just seeing um you know ha halloween is of course my favorite and what i what i'm excited to see the decorations for but i also have a really big appreciation just for autumn harvest uh, themed decorations, anything with autumn leaves and pumpkins and man, let me tell you, I'm one of these people that will never get tired of pumpkin spice and all things pumpkin spice. So I just think it's a very, I love the whole cozy sweater and sweater with your coffee and the, <laughs> you know, in those like, Oops, I, I kind of dropped the wreath there. Um, but yeah, just that typical like Instagram post of where you're in your sweater with like your hot chocolate and, you know, your boots are in the leaves. I love it. So yeah, you can see some of the pricing here. I think it's pretty good prices. Um, a lot of the wreaths were between 20 to $30. I really thought the one that, where is it, this one, where it was like one big pumpkin with little pumpkins, um, that one was really pretty, and yeah, and I like the the rustic farm, just that rustic farm harvest look as well. Uh, I'd be interested to hear what you Moon Scouts think if you are mostly just interested in the Halloween decorations or if you also enjoy and like seeing the season seasonal harvest decorations. So yeah, there was a lot of really pretty ones there. And I love these, oh my goodness, the, uh, the ones with the little fall banner on it. Those were probably my favorite. Uh, I think those are so cute. Um, and so moving along from the wreaths, they had little bags, like netted, netted bags of just a variety of little fall, like plastic pumpkins and pine cones. Um, and you can see those were around $8. I loved these, especially with the gold, the gold look to it. So pretty. Uh, man, making me crave some butternut squash, butternut squash pumpkin soup. <laughs> And then just sort of panning over and showing some more of the the pre-made sort of uh, fake flower bouquets. And yeah, and then uh, lastly here, they had a very small section in the actual aisle of autumn decorations. So there's some pretty glassware there. So you can see that was $8. And then coming around the corner here... Um, they had these cool, like, these were big jars. Let me tell you, they were, they were really big. You can kind of see with me picking up, picking them up. Now these, I really thought were cool. They actually had a little handle there and you could put a can, I'm pretty sure it was, you could put a candle inside if I remember correctly. I couldn't, uh, I think I was having trouble finding the pricing and I didn't want to, I had to be careful because it was made of glass. So, and then there's some more over here of these little glass pumpkin jars, just really gorgeous so i had a good time just checking out the little bit of stuff that they had in there all right moon scouts and we are back from checking out old time pottery and okay so it was a little bit, but it was something. And let me tell you, I am thrilled about that because I went in here actually not having a clue if 
they would even have any Halloween stuff at all. I actually tried calling this location in advance, but their phone system wasn't working. So, uh, but I knew I, I had called at home and they said that they did start putting their Halloween stuff out. And uh, so, which is close to this old time pottery. So I was gonna go there anyways. So, you know what? I am super thrilled, I'm excited. Um, I gotta say my favorites are the gnomes, the Halloween gnomes. I am a huge fan of gnomes. So the fact it's Halloween and gnomes mixed together, I love it. I also loved the glittering mummies and Frankenstein statues, super cool. Plus, as you guys could see, they had um, a lot of fall uh, wreaths wreaths and bouquets like fake fall flower bouquets and wreaths out um like i said i'm not sure if that's a year-round thing i i don't think it is so that's pretty awesome and they had some other regular fall stuff out on their um you know on display in the front area too so it was basically like one long row one long aisle it was one aisle of halloween merchandise and then the floral stuff. And there was a little bit of fall stuff on another shelf. So yeah, I'm excited about that and I'm ready to check out at home. So let's go ahead and go. I was very glad to see that at home and old time pottery were really close to each other since I went in intending to go to both in search for the Halloween merch. So I'm glad that the two stores that happen to be putting their stuff out already were really close to each other. So that was nice and convenient. So really excited about what I was seeing at, at home because there was actually a lot more merchandise out already, both fall and Halloween decor. They actually had a big aisle already filled with a lot of great stuff. So starting out, we have oh, these little, more of the little gnomes. And I love those guys because they have a little squash on their head that's like doubles as a witch hat. So many things going on with that one decoration I love. And it was only like $5. Um, the pricing was actually pretty good for a lot of this stuff. I guess in my opinion, at least, like because of how enthusiastic I am about Halloween, and I mean, it was like nice, nice ceramic decorations like pumpkins and glassware. And uh, you'll see with the skull, uh, the skulls, I love those glass skulls. I definitely almost bought one, but I'm trying to hold off just a little bit longer till they get a little bit more off before I start just spending money. Um, but these are, I think only like three or four dollars. Yeah, they were only like three dollars and I also tested to see if you could open the cork and it was a little difficult, but one of them I, I was able to get out and I didn't see any glue or anything. So I didn't like mess it up or anything. I'm pretty sure they just really, you know, get it in there tightly. Yeah, I was a big fan of all the different sort of uh, potion bottles and, and the glass bottles that they had. I love the little bat toppers on top. This is actually some a project I want to make myself. And I think that's now the skulls. If I did buy something, I'd want to buy the skulls. But for the potion bottles, um, I've actually made my own potion bottles and labels before. So I think it's one of those things where I'd make I'd rather I'd rather make like a craft project out of it. And if that's something you guys would like to see on my channel, let me know. Um, I think it'd be fun to do some videos of uh, like some simple Halloween crafts. I don't do a whole lot, but I have done a few things here and there. So as you can see, we have the quintessential spider webs and sort of cheesecloth type material. Gotta have that. Gotta, I always have to get more of that each year. Loving these velvet pumpkins. Any, oh, the velvet skulls. That was even better. Now those are a little pricier but they are very cool. Um, I noticed with At Home and the, their decorations, it, it seemed like they had a whole line of more gothic, elegant sort of decor, which I think is great because that's more of a year, you know, it's a bit more of a year round decoration if you're really into just sort of a gothic aesthetic. Um, it's not as in your face, orange, Halloween sort of decorations. So the things laying down there, I'm pretty sure those were Christmas trees, like black 
plastic uh, Christmas trees. Um, they were just folded up. And as you can see, they have a lot of these Halloween themed Christmas tree decorations, which I think is interesting. I noticed a couple of tree, like Halloween tree decorations at, at Pottery. Um, but this one, they were really going hard <laughs> with the Halloween Christmas trees. And as you can see, I love the, the ceramic ones. They actually light up. I really like that candy corn one in particular. Uh, then you have some fortune tellers and some witches. Those were some just big, giant witch hats. Um, I love this couple here. Now, they were definitely on the more expensive side, as you can see, but really pretty. Oh my goodness, this little haunted house right here. That is, oh, I thought that was absolutely too cute. Like, I love dioramas specifically. I'm a huge fan of those. I don't know what they're called, but they're they're really expensive. But I always see them in Michaels. The big village dioramas where you can buy the different parts of the town and make like a whole either Christmas or Halloween town. And they all light up and things spin around and move and they're definitely expensive, so it's never something I've bought, but I love just seeing the setup in the stores. Now, these signs were really cool. Um, that's something I could see myself putting up just as a decoration in my room. They were only $8, and they were really cool. The, the fortune teller ones had some gold to them that was reflecting, which I loved. I loved. And these little, little boo wooden signs that are $9. They had these little cute milk jugs and mini pumpkins. I think that would be great for, and those were only $2. $2. Um, so that might appeal to kids more. Now this was really cool. I was excited to show you Moon Scouts that. Like, again, something that you could totally use all year round if you're into that aesthetic, uh, decorating in a gothic or Halloween-y aesthetic, or if you just want a skull wine bottle opener. <laughs> okay, so I'm pointing at this wreath because I actually have that wreath. It is so cute, so pretty. Oh, and the wreath behind it? That one was too cool. I loved the crow and twigs, and then the snake. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just like, I'm just, I am genuinely excited about everything wreaths especially are so hard to choose from because there's so many awesome designs. Lanterns, gotta have some lanterns, gotta have some spooky trees. Um, that's what I'm showing you guys right now. And then we have some more gnomes next to them too. They're little, little trick-or-treating witch gnomes. Ugh. And they're only like five dollars each. So I'm definitely thinking, um, the things I'm definitely thinking about getting are either gnome gnomes or the bottles the the crystal skull bottles i just couldn't decide on a color too that was the other thing uh, then you have these little spooky woodsy town signs um these are some big just glittery glittery sparkly uh witch brooms um and then here I'm kind of focusing on the lanterns. Uh, some of the things, so some of these things were pretty high up. That's why I'm not really like touching or turning them around. Um, they're they're just pretty high up on the shelf. Um, this, this, I was having a little trouble turning the sign around, but I think I got it. Yeah, it was like $20. And it has a handle that comes up too. And there's like a big, I think, fake candle inside. So that was really nice. And yeah, I was just noticing there's a, they have a, uh, an assortment. Oh, these pumpkins were really unique. I've never seen anything like that before. It has like dimensional bugs all over it. Really cool. And it was heavy. That's why I was doing that. It was like a heavy, like heavy duty pumpkin. <laughs> um, but yeah, they had a con, they had this, the Gothic elegant kind of decorations as well as some more rustic uh, harvest sort of themed. Um, oh, those were cute with the, with the words written all over it. And these skulls, let me tell you, those were awesome. And those kind of go, went along. And you can see the line is called Dark Decadence. I love the name of that line where it's just ele like elegant, sparkly. Um, yeah, just really cool. And they had a ton of these 
just giant classic pumpkins, uh, fake pumpkins. Oh, and then they have an eek to go with your boo. Uh, and yeah, farther, farther along here is where I started getting more footage of, or there was more pumpkins, specifically pumpkin themed decorations, some cool, cool little spell books. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyways, that was $9. And yeah, I got some big spiders there. They had a lot of these really gorgeous glass pumpkins. Um, yeah, those were really nice and actually not too high priced. Oh man. And then uh, going moving along, I'm going to be showing you guys here the harvest uh, fall theme decorations. So as you can see, there's a lot of these um, glass, beautiful glass pumpkins. And you can see the label on all of them. If you can't really see it, it says artisan glass. And they're actually like, yeah, they weren't, they weren't that much higher price than everything else. Oh my God. The, oh, the sweater pumpkins. Yes. So cute. I, I really love those. I was like, pet, pet. And then you have some uh, platters and some little table decorations. So just something, just some decorations you could have up throughout the season. Oh my goodness. They had these adorable, adorable little creatures that look like they're made out of um, natural, natural elements. The bears in the acorn. Oh my gosh. Oh, that one was probably my favorite. I did like the owl though as well. So we got a bunch of little, just little tiny glass pumpkins, sparkly pumpkins. And again, I love sparkles, but I also love vintage Halloween fall, but I also love the rustic look. I'll take it all. <laughs> and I, I think I tried picking those up, but they were kind of stuck in there pretty good. Um, they had a bunch of the little trucks with the pumpkins in the back. And you can see those were about $30 each some more pumpkins tons of pumpkins it is that is a really difficult choice uh oh and they had more sweater pumpkins as you can see there and they have little twigs it's uh or twigs it's like a little bundle of twigs for the stem these were super cool going off of that rustic theme but it's more specifically halloween so i really like those in particular we got more some bigger bigger woodland natural decorations those owls were pretty large, if I remember correctly. Um, some signs. Those were about $10. You can kind of see there. Some wooden signs. You can see those were about $30. And yeah, they just had a lot of the glass pumpkins out. And you can see that that was a pretty big one. And it's only $8. Really gorgeous. So I, was, I thought those were really cool. And they just had a lot. So you're going to see a lot of footage of pumpkins because they just had a ton of pumpkins in all different shapes and colors and patterns. Oh my goodness. I I mean, I, I guess the whole point is if you have a particular color scheme you're wanting to go for, but I wouldn't even know. <laughs> Got some glittery pumpkins, more glass ones. I love the wood carved, the wood carving look. Um, that we, and that was on some earlier with the pumpkin with a crow on top. So yeah, thanks so much Moon Scouts for joining me on this little adventure. Um, let me know in the comments what your favorite decorations are and like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.